lot of times what we do is we see, we're trying to teach them something. I've, I've seen it in elementary too. And they're off on a tangent thinking about something that has nothing to do with what you're doing in class. What I do a lot of times when I tweak things is I look at the things that are causing them not to do the work that I want them to do and take that content that they're interested in and see how it can combine with the content that I'm trying to teach. And it's amazing. Great example. <coughs> Um, I had an opportunity where I was teaching kids how to do sentence structure, paragraph structure. And all they were talking about was Independence Day. That movie. Classic movie, right? Independence Day. So I was like, okay, they're not listening to me. They're talking about aliens visiting, you know, you know visiting the world and attacking and all that. So how am I going to get them to understand paragraph structure? So, the next day, got out PowerPoint, looked for some images that had to do with Independence Day. So I found a mothership, I found the little fighters, because there were fighters that came out of the big mothership, and then I found the aliens. I said, all right, boys and girls, here's what we're going to talk about. We got this mothership, and then I had the text come up that said, this is the main topic. And then outside of that comes the fighters. Those are the paragraphs, because you can't have an alien flying another ship when they're not assigned to that. So they got to fly this one. And then I had the aliens, which were the details. Because they couldn't understand sentence structure. They saw that and they're like, whoa, Mr. Stuff, I get that now. It makes sense. And it was amazing how their writing changed. Just from a silly idea of taking them, a, a, a thing that took them off task, brought them on task, and made it so it was really powerful that they could see an actual metaphor right on the screen. You were being playful. I was being playful. Exactly. And I think a lot of times we're, we're constrained to those time, you know, those time constraints that we got to get all this content. Maybe we just got to let go a little bit and let the kids hear from the kids, listen to the kids, see what they say, you know, and see how it goes. It might not work out exactly how you want it to, but it'll be interesting to see that process and try it.